This small pond is loaded with bass. And from the moment we started fishing, we realized it's gonna be a good day. The weather's been dark and cold, but that didn't stop these fish from biting. Our goal today is to hit as many ponds as we can while catching some giants. So sit back and relax because this is gonna be good. Tonight, November 29th and tomorrow, November 30th is the last chance to get in on our Black Friday deal. For every kicking combo you purchase, you'll receive three free packs of Strike King baits. So head over to kickingtheirbass.com right now and scoop you a combo. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we're going to get this pond hop journey started today, okay? Got us an old lipless crankbait, got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV x Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com to be linked down below. We're going to be pond hopping today to some ponds that we haven't been to in a while. And look at that swirl. And I don't know what to expect today. I went fishing the other day. Fish were totally shut off. So I'm hoping that is not the case today. And I'm hoping we end up just smoking them in this pond since we haven't fished it in a very long time. So let's go ahead and get the casting. We're gonna cover a lot of water today, hit a bunch of different areas and figure out what these fish want. If they're not eating a trap, we might have to switch up some a little slower. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. By the way, if you guys are wondering about the conditions, little chilly today, slight bit of wind, overcast in the sky. So I just don't know, this weather hasn't been really consistent. It's kind of been nasty the last few days and we had maybe one day of decent weather. But other than that, it's been pretty disgusting. The one thing that I do like about today is I'm already getting hit. And that feels like a nice one, man. Look at that right there. Oh, it's a big one. It's a freaking big one, dude. Come on, baby. Oh, he slammed that thing too. That's a good sign. Oh, let's go. That's a good fish. Look at that. Good two and a half pounder to start off the video. I thought he was a lot bigger. Look at how he ate it, boys. We might be on to something today. I was just about to say the one thing that I like about today is I've actually seen a good bit of activity. Like I, I see some swirls at the top of the water. I've seen a few birds fly by. He's bleeding just a little bit, so we're gonna get him back in the water really quick. Oh, there he goes. Oh my goodness, boys. That fish demolished that lipless crankbait. I mean, we're probably five casts into today. I threw a few in that smaller corner there. Started fan casting out here. I, I wanna say that might've been my first cast out there in the middle. Got absolutely destroyed. I'm kinda excited after that, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that was a hit of a lifetime on the lipless there. And I'll tell you, when I went the other day, I was just talking about it. The fish were so slow. And I caught one bass in, in the matter of like an hour and 20 minutes. And I had one other bite. And I honestly went and put my rod up. I was like, it's not even worth fishing today. And that fish right there bit one really quick. And the way he hit that thing just lets me know that I think these fish might be biting really good today. So let's keep on casting and uh, we might be able to put together a crazy day. Dude, I just got hammered again, bro. Oh boy. What's going on today, man? Am I finally about to experience a good fall bite? I've yet to go out and just have a crazy... Actually, one day I had one good lipless bite. But other than that, I feel like I haven't really got to experience a good fall bite. And we already have two bites within the first, I'd say, 10 minutes of today. Man, I'm pumped. Keep seeing boils right out there. Dude. Oh my gosh, they're biting today, boys. Let's freaking go. Look at how they're eating this dang thing. Another, that's about a pound and a half. And look at how he ate that lipless crankbait. Dude, this is, this is something right here, boys. We about to get on them and I am pumped. I was about to stop casting right here. But when you have one eat it like that, man, that's pretty crazy. It's a good fat 
I'd say a pound and a half, maybe a pound and three quarters with how thick he is. He's got a good little belly on him. Feeding up for that winter time now. Let's get it, baby. I thought I had a bite a second ago, but I just kind of brushed it off. I'm like, oh, maybe that wasn't a bite. But now that I felt how that one did it, it was more than likely a bite. So if you guys are wondering about this color, it's got like a blue back. It's got a little pink stripe and a solid white down below. I'll tell you, with it being the overcast conditions, this is a good prime color. We can go with that standard sexy shad that we had with a little bit of chrome on it. But I don't really like using chrome unless it's sunny out. With it being overcast today, that white right there is the perfect color. My only thing is this thing's starting to run sideways a little bit. I hope that's not going to cause any issues with us. He's running ever so slightly. He's running sideways. Okay, one thing that we can do. So this bait's running to the right. That being said, we're going to grab that little eye and, and slightly tweak it to the left. There we go. That might help out ever so slightly. If you have a crankbait that's not running true, Sometimes when you catch a lot of fish on it, can kind of tweak it. You just kind of adjust it. And you can get it to start running straight. Like right there is running a lot straighter now. Still got a slight bit to the right. We might can tweak it a little bit more, but it's not running bad. That's a little tip, guys. If you're having trouble with your crankbaits, huge blow up, man. I'm seeing fish move over there too. These fish might just be turned up right now. Hold on, man. What are we getting ourselves into? That was a nasty little blow up there. Had to have been by a pretty big fish. It was right on that point. Oh, he just hit me. Big boil too. Gosh, dude. Man, that got me pumped up. Come on, fish. I keep getting pine straw on. One thing that I've noticed too fishing today, if you look at the edge of the bank here, the water's pretty low. So I'm, I'm starting to deal with some things that I usually don't have to deal with out here on this pond. I'm, I'm touching the bottom a lot quicker with this. I'm just kind of picking up some of that nasty stuff. Sadly, I don't think that fish is going to bite again. I, I would have thought he, he might have turned on it, but he slapped it that one hard time and he was done with it. So boys, this pocket can be really good in the springtime. I've caught him there at other times of year, but I see the most activity out here towards the main section. And more importantly, where I caught that first fish, there is so much activity out there right now. I just saw about five or six swirls. So in my opinion, we need to be fishing over this way. We can still go back and hit that pocket. I saw one swirl in the back and it's not a bad idea. I just think we need to focus right here while these fish seem to be biting good. I mean, we caught two good fish, had another bite. See a lot of activity. We saw fish blow up. This is definitely the section we need to be fishing. That's a money cast right there, boys. I hope that's bass flickering bait up there on that point. If it is, we're, we're in for a slay fest right now. I'm gonna be honest, I might need to go grab another trap. This thing's kind of still running a little weird. It's like it runs straight once I get it moving for a second, but right when it hits the water, it's trying to kind of turn on its side. He ate it like a dang top water. No way. Oh my gosh. It sounded like a small one hitting it, but he feels pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Dude, what are we experiencing right now? That bait would not stay down and that fish just ate it like a dang top water. Another good pound and a half fish. Not a giant by any means, but still a healthy fish and we'll take them. Thank you, baby. I cannot believe he ate it like that. That's starting to make me think, man. We're on a dang top order right now. It ain't cold to where they wouldn't eat it. There's fish number three, guys. Probably our smallest one of today, but still a good pound and a half fish. Thank you, baby. That fish right there splashed so much nasty crap on me. Little turd. I cannot believe. I couldn't tell you the last time that I had a fish eat a trap like a top water. That was pretty crazy. All right, we're gonna give up on the spot for just a minute. We're gonna come back to it for sure. 
I can walk out to that little island and fish it. Out of the big fish that I've caught out of this pond, I've always had a lot of luck year round near this bridge. So I really want to focus on this area, make a lot of good casts. Cause I've caught, I could not tell you how many four to seven pounders around this bridge. I mean, just a ton. If I had something other than a trap, if I had like a chatter donk or a worm or anything, I could skip under that good. Well, there you go. I guess you can skip a trap. There we oh, ho, ho, ho. why did he eat it like that? What is happening? He might bite it again. He just barely ticked the back of it. It felt like he was going to eat it all the way, but hopefully that hook didn't get him and kind of spooked him there. That was a nice little bite. Surprised we didn't get one by this bridge, guys. Got that one bite on that grass line. No bites on the bridge. And it still seems as if the best activity has been over on that hump. We probably need to just go over there and start fishing while they're loaded. These fish are probably just moving. Clouds are up. They're just roaming around a ton. They seem to be locked in on this point pretty good. I mean, I still see movement. I think that was a stick, bro. I, I sure hope that was a stick. Oh my gosh. If that wasn't a stick, that was a big one. I don't know why I didn't feel it that time. I hope that wasn't a dang fish, man. I think it felt big. That was definitely a stick. Whew. I was about to say, man, if I just missed a giant because I was playing around thinking it was a stick, that would have sucked. Definitely a stick, though. Biggest problem right now I'm having is just picking up either pine straw or grass it's just one of those things that can be reeling in my bait and it can be in a really good spot or a big fish behind it and then all of a sudden you got some dang grass hanging off and they aren't biting it oh that's a nice one i think Oh, that was our biggest one today, man. Ugh, that stinks. Oh, he hammered that thing, guys. Missed it and came right back for it. Gosh dang it, man. That was every bit of a three-pounder. If he wasn't, he was a high two, but still would have been our biggest fish today. Man. Yeah, when he missed that thing, I was like, dang it. And then all of a sudden, he came right back for it and loaded up. He kind of caught me in a weird position. I was already kind of leaned back from that first hook set and I just don't think I drove the hooks in them good enough. That's been our only bite in this little pocket so far. My bait's going all over the place now, guys. I'm getting to the point to where we're going to switch ponds in a moment. Maybe come back to this one later. And when I switch ponds, I'm probably going to have to switch lipless crankbaits just because this thing has been really weird. See, it's running so straight on that cast, but then there's some cast that just wants to go sideways. Look at that. Sick. Well, guys, we went all the way back in this pocket for that one bite. Sadly lost it, but we're going to actually work our way to the other side, to that other pocket. We're going to try that, see how that goes, because I still think we can catch a really big one in here. And then we're going to go hit another pond. And after that next pond, depending on how we do, we might come back here because there's just so many big fish and I know it's possible to catch one today. All right, boys, let's see what we can get into on this side. Like I said, I've done really good here in the past, mainly in the springtime, but it would not surprise me if we get a few good bites back here. So let's just start fan casting around. Oh my goodness. I can't tell if that was a big branch or a big fish. I'm definitely had gotten a slop afterward. It's kind of a tough one to figure out right there. That kind of felt like a big one leaning into it. Oh my gosh, I just had a tiny one. 
Dude, that bait hit the water and I already had a small one on instantly. I just skidded him across the water out there and he came off. I'm talking that bait was not in the water for two seconds. He was already on. Some of these fish are biting this thing aggressive today. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a good one, boys. Oh yeah, that's a monster. That's what we've been waiting on. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Oh, he ain't even that big. He was a good fish though. I thought he was at least four, dude. That fish was torquing down. That is a really good bass. Caught him right out there in the middle. Heck yeah. That is a really good fish. Not quite three pounds, but he's pushing it. Every bit of two and three quarters. That's a good one. I thought that was a good four pounder there for a minute. He fooled me. Gosh, the way he ate that thing and how he felt, there was no doubt in my mind that was a dang four pounder, but we'll take him in. Maybe there's some more out here. There's another boil right there if you guys saw that. And that's something we need to pay attention to, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but we went in that other pocket and we had one good bite going towards the back pocket, the back corner. And now we came over to this pocket right when we get towards the back, boom, we get a good bite. When we're fishing these other ponds here later today that we can keep in the back of our head, just keep a note on. There's another good fish. I don't think he's a big one, but that's a good one. Let's go, baby. Oh, this fish is hyper too. There we go. That's probably the skinniest fish today. He hammered that thing. Yes, sirree. Not a big one by any means, but he put up a good fight. To be honest, probably one of our smallest today. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Heck yeah, boys. We are getting slammed. I don't know how many fish that is in this first pond, but they are biting really good. And this is a pond I usually don't get a ton of bites at, so that's just a great feeling. Some days you'll come out, guys, when you're throwing a lipless and they'll just kind of load up on it. There's some days that they'll just barely tap it and they're on there. And then there's some days like today that you can just tell that these fish are wanting to eat. They're hungry. They're ready to bite. And they're full on slamming that bait. We've had a little mixture. Dude. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at this, dude. I mean, they are just smoking it, guys. Another good two pounder. I actually never felt this fish. I saw them with my own two eyes come up and eat it. <laughs> this is just insanity, man. What a day of fishing that we're going on today. I've been wanting one of these good fall days and it is happening right now. We had one good day about a couple weeks ago and we caught some, some really big ones, but we didn't have like a ton of bites. We probably had six or seven bites. Today we've caught over seven fish and they're still biting, man. <laughs> we just caught three in this corner in the matter of five minutes and I don't think they're done. And one thing about this pocket compared to the last one is I can actually throw my bait. I'm able to throw my bait out there and give it a good steady retrieve because I'm not hitting the bottom. That other pocket had so much pine straw and grass to the point to where I had to burn that bait. And I had to keep my bait off the bottom and just reel it way too fast. Back here I can kind of fish it how I need to, slow it down, and keep that bait in the strike zone without doing anything too crazy with it. Y'all want to know what's crazy. We caught all three of those fish back in that corner. Fish this whole section right here, not a bite. And goes to show what we were talking about. This fish mainly being all the way in the back of the pockets. Now we're coming up on this little bridge right here and we're coming up into this mouth. I think you're about to start seeing a lot more fish right here in this section. It's just crazy how this fish position up, even in ponds, you know, how they'll position up that way and be in certain locations. 
All right, boys, we've had a lot of fun at this pond. I totally think we could keep on fishing and just smoking them. But for the sake of the video, for the sake of you guys, for the sake that we want to catch a really big bass, we're gonna head out to a spot where I've caught a ton of eight to nine pounders in the last six years. And I haven't been out there in a long time, so I'm curious to see what we can do. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the car and keep moving. Hey, puppy. Hey. No, you're fine. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. I want you to get the fishing lure. Hey. All right, boys, we made it out to the new pond. This thing has some freaking toads in it. I already see some bait popping right there, which is a good sign. I tied on a new lipless crankbait. You know we were having that problem with it running sideways. This color isn't as ideal for the clouds, but I kind of value it running straight more than the color at this point. But uh, let's get to casting, and hopefully these big ones are biting in here as well. After seeing those fish biting so good in that last pond, I can only imagine that they'll be biting in some of these other ponds. And I'm like, this is a good big fish spot. And if we can get them fired up how we had those last fish, we'll be in for a treat. Been so long since I fished this place. I used to fish this pond a ton five, six years ago. And then I hit it one time this year with Tara and she ended up catching one around four and a half pounds. And that is the only time we've really fished this pond over the years since I used to fish it a ton. I just pinged off a rock right here. There's actually a lot of boulders in the water. A lot of those big fish that sit on these boulders. So we're just gonna keep on fan casting, ripping this trap through the water column. Let's see if we can get some of these big ones to bite. Right there, right off the rock, dude. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> pinged it right off that rock and instantly. I cannot believe how good these fish are biting today. That is the smallest fish of the day, but that's a good sign, man. That means they're biting. That means they're still biting. I had to hop on a few phone calls and handle a few things. So it's been about an hour since we've been fishing. There he goes. Heck yeah, well, we got something. It is our smallest one today, but that doesn't mean much because there's some giants in here and they'll bite. So that fish literally ate that trap right when I pinged it off that rock. Instantly hit the rock, boom, got a bite. And those rocks can be great for the fishing today. But one thing that you gotta be careful with is getting hung up in the rock. So that's something that we're gonna be aware of. There's actually a huge rock right there. It's like big concrete slabs. I'm telling you, they will eat your bait up. So if you ain't careful, We'll get your bait taken, but at the same time, there's a big fish that hide out in those rocks. And going down this bank, they're all about, I'd say 15 foot. Oh my gosh, you ate it off the rock too. Oh, dude. You know what's crazy? If we got like a normal crankbait, I bet it would be fire in here. One thing that worried me is I thought there was a lot of grass. It doesn't seem like there's a ton of grass. Kicking combos beaming today, boys. I'm hitting the whole other side of the bank. Look at that right there. Dude, I cannot believe they're eating it. Oh gosh. We're just yo-yoing that thing right on the edge of those rocks. I ain't buying just the small fish biting right now. We just gotta figure out where these big ones are. They in here. Just gotta figure out where they're setting up. All three of those fish have been tiny. I don't know if you guys saw that, I yo-yoed it and he ate it instantly. This is the time of year we would slay them big ones too. Going into the winter time, even in the winter time. There were some stints where we were going on every single day we'd catch one between eight and nine pounds. I knew it was gonna happen, man. That sucks. Well, guys, looking like we might have to break this off and go retie, sadly. Yep. Dang it, man. I don't know if we have any square bills, but if I have one in my car, that's definitely what I'm gonna tie on. Boys, I'm gonna be honest. 
we're gonna whip out a chatter donk and give her a shot we're definitely bringing down some more baits down there too because there's a good chance i'll break off again and i'm not gonna sit here and walk all the way back to the car we don't need to be wasting that time all right boys setting camp up right there start with this chatter donk and see so we can get some of these big ones bite here maybe the chatter donks our ticket today never know we haven't tried it today we've only been throwing a trap so let's get a little shad imitation we're just gonna start beating around these rocks i'm gonna start walking this a little quicker get down to where we broke off what we talked about earlier in those other ponds those fish were towards the back of the pockets so we're gonna try to convert that to this pond and see if that works we've been throwing this chatter bait it's thunder cricket for a good second now i haven't even had a nibble all right boys i'm gonna be real this pond just hasn't been it i thought we we're gonna come out here and catch some big ones end up getting a few small ones and broke off a of bait but we're gonna keep on moving i have some other ponds in mind all right boys here at another spot got the trap tied back on i think uh we have a good idea on that's what they're wanting today we don't need to switch up too much we switched to that chatter dog didn't even get a bite we've been we've been getting slammed on this trap all day long so i just came out of this pond i started off here in the pocket just because that's been like a proven spot today and we're gonna make a lot of casts here hopefully catch some big ones Got a lot of good ones in the past in this pocket hopefully we can get them to bite right now Ooh, i just got hit right there that is grass i'm pretty sure unless i have a little fish on just a grass fish old oh, grass bass that is not what I wanted to see when fishing this place. I am tired of the grass. All right, boys, had a new pond. Not so much grass in this one. I chose to pick a place with less grass because I'm just tired of dealing with it, to be honest with you. Plus, I feel like we have a really good chance of some good sized fish in this pond. If they're biting as good as these other bass have been biting. So we're going to start fishing here. And I think the bites that we get on average are gonna be really good so let's see what we can make happen Ooh, i just got hammered right there can't tell you why he didn't eat it he just slapped at it he just gave me a little spanking mm -mm -mm. hopefully these fish aren't shutting off sometimes these fish would just go crazy all of a sudden kind of slow down hopefully that's not the case what in the world am i feeling i had to have been one grabbing the back of it i mean what else could it have been maybe there's biting a little funny right now Let's see light okay i don't know what that is Look like a dang alligator for a minute, man. Maybe that's what I was feeling down there. Some weird baggies. I'm glad I could take that out of the water at least. That is not what we're going for though. All right, boys, that bite slowed down everywhere else. So we came back to where we know that they were biting earlier. I already see some more movement in the middle. I think this place is just red hot right now. I don't know what was going on with the other ponds. The big fish pond we hit after this one, I really expected to do some work at. We caught some smaller ones there. Those big ones were just not biting. We switched to that chatter bait and they just weren't, I don't know. It was kind of odd. I thought we were gonna do a little better than that, but it is what it is. We know there's some really big ones in here and there's a good opportunity we can hook one. So we're just gonna keep on traveling around this pond and try to get the most out of it today while they're biting we could have just hit these fish on a feeding frenzy frenzy boys and maybe we're just on the down stretch of the day i'm not really sure i don't know earlier that i felt unstoppable i felt like i couldn't do anything to not get a bite for the most part now it's feeling like these fish have just slowed down I'm not saying it's impossible to get a bite because i know that's just not the case but they are not biting how they were earlier Oh. 
I ain't gonna lie, boys. That was a close one. I just casted right over that dang, whatever that yellow thing is over there. And I thought my trap was a goner. I'm not gonna lie. Kicking combo just be whipping now. There we go. That was a crazy bite. He slammed that thing right there. There we go, baby. Not a big one, but a fat one. Gosh, that bite was one of the most aggressive ones all day. I feel like I hit something on the bottom, and then all of a sudden it was like, Duh. that sure felt good, though. That was an aggressive bite for them to not be biting for a minute. Thank you for biting, pimp. There we go, that was sick.